we'll obviously have to get to the bottom of why Greg is so sad. Sad yeah. as hell. Sad, sad as, as hell. hell. I'm sad, sad as hell. Sad as hell. Damn, dude. Um, what's going on? What's what what brings the tears that to first. your face? Good point. Yeah. Hmm? What, what doesn't? This guy cries at the drop of a hat. No, I'm crying at the drop of a Boba Fett. And that's what this is about. <laughs> the drop of a foot. Boba Fett <laughs> fell from the top shelf last night. And for video users only, look at this. Broke his foot. Yeah. Broke well. right off. And it's it's fallen into this room of madness. And there's no way to find it because there's wires everywhere and cardboard boxes <laughs> laying. If you could see this, Brendan, look at this. Let me give you look, what, look so at the bad. hell I'm living in here. It's pretty nuts, man. It is with a, a keyboard. It's like a hoarder's home. Looks like a warehouse. Like this a, is like <laughs> kind of they open up a storage unit for a dead man and they go, this, have at it, everyone. This is like those guys who go around like uh, uh, on that show where they buy, like find people that have a lot of like collectibles and they go in and they kind of scam them out of them. You'd be one of the houses where they'd go, eh, let's pass, you know, yeah. like yeah, I'm not going to take anything from this is too crazy. Like he loves too dangerous. Stuff. too dangerous. This is yeah. also for those of you audio only. You played yourself, dog, because that picture of Bobo <laughs> Fett was nice as hell. So you you yeah, playing man. yourself. You're listening to audio Play, only. Drew the damager. And Play Greg. Yourself. There are yeah. multiple <laughs> things I'd like to attach here real quick. I'd like to go after one. Brennan said the show where they go in and they scam people out of their toys. This is not a show yep. that exists. Brendo got by <laughs> on usually Brendo saying normal stuff. <laughs> yeah. But I've never heard Brendo of that show credit. either. That's no. a, that was a Greg sentence. It's a horrible show that they would have a show where they go, hey, we welcome to uh, Scam Finders where we find people and then rob them of their things. <laughs> well, they swindle these kindly people. On this week's episode, <laughs> we're going into an old woman's coin collection <laughs> yeah. and take her for her medical yeah, bills. Yeah. <laughs> I could be I could be putting my own spin onto it because it's a show could where be. these two fellas be you Arby's. That's where there's, Arby's came from. There's You're some, Arby's. There's some sort the of beef. pickers and they go, they buy stuff and they resell it. But to me, I go, You're ripping these people off. I can I mm. smell a scam oh. a mile away. Why are you buying it if it's not worth more than they're selling it to you for? Why would you is, buy it? So this is American Pickers. Is that what I'm hearing? I think so. That is that a show? Yeah, I don't watch reality TV. No, I've heard of the show American Pickers. I love the idea that what Greg has proposed and what you've suggested this show that you've watched is is a show which they're set out to scam people. So the backstories that they have to run are bad. Right, they, so they have don't to. like the people. You know what I mean? You know <laughs> yeah, how they usually yeah. try to set people up on reality shows, so you're just like very emotionally invested if they're just like this guy never returns a phone call so, <laughs> great yeah, take it for all he's worth great nephew of joseph stalin has one of the greatest <laughs> paint co painter collections he's got a few monades we're gonna go in there and tell them they're fake and sell uh, them to the Mona, yeah. Mona Lisa, meet, proud uh, nephew of Joseph Stalin. <laughs> proud, meet meet Diane. She's got a collection of Fabergé eggs, and she disowned her gay son. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, yeah. We're gonna take that money and we're gonna donate it to the Trevor Project. <laughs> Who's Trevor? Your gay neighbor? Yeah, my gay neighbor. Uh, is, it, I, is it a gay thing, Trevor? Yes. It's my gay be. neighbor, he's called the Trevor Project. <laughs> That's how gay he is. <laughs> Trevor. Oh, Trevor. <laughs> Who's Trevor? What's, um, what is this Trevor Project? I think they beat in? him on a fence. Yeah, he's a, he's a poor man that's been beaten on a fence daily by an old Greek. No, that's um, a possum, and I know that possum that he hides on your... Is Trevor the possum? No, I, I've not named the possum. That's I'll name him Trevor now that I'm hearing it for the first time. That's better. Is Trevor... What is the Trevor Project? <laughs> the Trevor Project is a, a website. Um, it's like a Planned Parenthood... I, what, what am I looking for? Charity. It's a charity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a charity website against. Uh, they're like the HRC against homophobia. Let me say this, <laughs> and I'm going to say this. I'm proud of you, Trevor Project, for getting some money for the the beaten and the abused. Stop calling yourself a project, though. <laughs> you know what a project is? A project is something a fifth grader brings a class mm. that took the whole weekend to do. Uh -huh. The project is when you're building a thing. Uh -huh. uh, money to give gay rights. <laughs> Is just what it is. It's donations. It's the foundation. Projects. You stop using words the way you want to use them. This is America. Yeah, but Dude, listen. Well spoken. I rescind all my donations. Take them back. Until you get your act together. Get your refund. Oh, until you no. become the Trevor Foundation. Listen, this <laughs> the Trevor is, Foundation. We're living in a world. Also, of 
Sorry, Brendan. I I'm so I I'm so Mr. sorry. Sad as hell is bad. Well, I'm mad as hell now. <laughs> oh, he's mad as hell. They call it the Trevor Foundation, <laughs> but also Trevor. I'm guessing probably not alive. Mm. So say it's the money for people who were just like Trevor, right? Yeah, that's catchy. That's mm, good. That'll sorry. That'll fit in a search bar. <laughs> <laughs> Brendan, 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 please. What did you want to say four minutes? I know. Ago? And I did that. Well, what I was going to say, we're living in a landscape where there's mm. just so many gay charities. You've got mm. to pop. You've got to pop. This is a charity. Right. is a business. <laughs> you can't just go. You can't just go gay money. You know, that's my charity. Gay money. You got to no. go. You got to. It's got to be, you know, you got to be like Elon Musk. This is the Trevor Project. Could be a gay charity. Could be a way to get to Mars. Nobody knows. It's <laughs> this is this is Trevor X, you know, and I, I, I yeah. do believe Trevor. Was he that guy they made a movie about in Wyoming that uh, they, they killed that's him? That's Matthew Shepard. <laughs> oh, well, then I don't know who Trevor is, because that's who I, that's when I said beating on a fence. I thought this was the Matthew Project. Ah. I'm, no, uh, I no. Had, I don't also know. Also, in my donations. That's okay. Yeah, well, we're saying get all that money back. <laughs> no, they, after Trump won, there was, a, and I'm a follower of these things. Yeah. But after Trump won, you know, and I was like, what can I do? What can I, what can I do? Because I'm going to benefit, obviously. Sure. I'm a rich, straight what? white. I man. lost my voice. I'm going to benefit. But right. for all these other people out there, what can I do? And the Trevor Project was one of the things that came up. So I sent my five dollars to them, to the NRDC, to a bunch the of NRDC places. from Larry David. That's a fake one. What? The NRDC? That's fake. No, that's a real charity. They made that up for the Larry David show. Well, I, I'm going to go with Greg on this. You're giving money to Larry yeah, David. I'm mistaken. <laughs> Maybe you might well, be right. that's fine. I'd give my if that chair if I, if they go I if Larry David said I need five dollars <laughs> for what I've done for a month, I'll go. Yeah, that's worth it. Hook for up. What you've given me, I'll give Larry David five. I want to see him get richer. You know? Mm, yeah, you got only got a billion dollars. You're checking your phone in the middle of your own text. <laughs> You're in the middle <laughs> no, of your own. No, I was going to FaceTime call. Let me say this about this. Uh, going back to the Trevor Project. Yeah. I, you know, you, you need something that pops, right. as they would say, yeah. right? Right. So that's why I want to get for my, for my, what's it called when you get can uh, testicular cancer yep. fund? Bitcoin for my man's groin or coin for groin. groin we coin. give you money <laughs> for your dick. Uh, we could get that in the gay stuff too. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. We're not we're not saying it can't be it can't be for gay people too. Gay people's got groins, don't you? <laughs> yeah, you got double groins. <laughs> Some of them have double groins. And that's how you can tell. Or that's how you know that's, a gay man. You know, people would when you were in school, remember when you were younger and they would go, oh, if your left thumb wiggles a little bit, you're a complete sexual thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 If you're double jointed, <laughs> then you're going to be a yeah, trans pilot. Sorry, you've got a tough life ahead of you. I'm and sorry that one of your thumbs is longer than the other one. <laughs> the best was like, uh, the best was like, kids are like too dumb to know the lunacy of that. So I remember this. I distinctly remember this kid, uh, Devante, I think his name was. He got his right ear pierced instead of his left, and they were like, you gay now and he I remember that. Yep. and he was like i'm gay now like totally <laughs> was like there was no yeah. argument it was just like that's ah god damn it i went to claire's at the mall i didn't specify now i'm a full-blown gay man <laughs> i love his dad he's like he's just he's gay now still gay his dad is like i'm disowning you he's like you don't understand dad my chin bent in the middle he really did me. I was fine until he made me gay with the chin bend. Yeah, I can ungay myself. <laughs> just gotta take this thing out. Plastic surgeons wildly known for able to stretch out your face and make people ungay. <laughs> Bill Clinton had that butt in his nose. This was this was one. My friend Darnell hit me when we were little. Butt in his nose. You know, if you your chin has your a butt, chin. if your chin has a butt yeah, in yeah. it. I remember people. If you squeeze it, if it did a butt, that was a thing. And I remember uh -huh. him being uh, Darnell was walking around telling people, going, "Let me see your chin." And he goes. You're gonna be hooked on cocaine, <laughs> and then and it was, he actually said crack. He's like, you're getting hooked on crack, yeah. and then I remember being like, that was a who's doing crack, right? Yeah. And, yeah uh, his parents hooked on crack, <laughs> so I think it has some. I think he was really trying to get the crack thing going around, so he didn't feel so bad. Ah, oh, that's yeah. a smart. That's a yeah. very smart move. Oh, everyone's doing crack. My parents were pioneers in crack. <laughs> <laughs> that's a great that's a brilliant move <laughs> oh darnell oh uh, darnell uh so man. brendo what's your big story yeah what's the big news uh, what is it news for me well i was telling greg this 
Uh, I told Greg this on the phone. This is a crazy memory that resurfaced to me. Uh, we had a disability awareness week in middle school, right? And yes. uh, and they taped our – one day they taped our thumbs to our hand as like <laughs> – as like a demonstration of like uh, what it's like to live with an sure. impediment, which Greg mm -hmm. pointed out rightfully, just not a common impediment. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> yeah, old, no, right. old, old one, no thumb. But why like, are you yeah. saying Greg, when I give you a thing for a joke, you don't tell me, Here he goes, you look. just keep it going with the laughs and yes. And you give me one of these. I, well, okay. But uh, this is, I'm doing more of a story yeah, than a joke. Right. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, a wink. Yeah, okay. I tell you, I tell you uh, not. But, Anthony, and this is the kicker, my friend. Mm. Kid in our class, in a wheelchair, they taped his fucking thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Double duty. He's doing overtime tonight. Time and a half. Oh, man. I, yeah, so it really wasn't about disabilities. It was about living like the animals do. Well, They're the only like, people I can think whoa, about that whoa. don't have thumbs, <laughs> except for raccoons. Oh. Yeah, raccoons. Raccoons, certain monkeys. And that's right. really it. Um. That's so funny. It's giving you to live the life of Rad Ross, the kid I grew up who blew his thumb off with a firecracker. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> now we all get to know what it's like when your parents don't let you out past 8 p.m. at night when you're in sixth grade. Yeah, this is what will happen. It's literally the disability of a, a firecracker uh, enthusiast or a or a, a whaler from Nantucket in the 1890s. Those are the only two. Uh, <laughs> fucking, yeah. And, I think what must have happened, because it's so crazy with this kid who was a cool kid, but, you know, lived his life with a disability to be like, sure. you got to understand, dude, and we're going to take <laughs> mm -hmm. your thumb down. But I think what must have happened is that what a what a like tough call for the teacher is like, well, do we single this kid out more? Right. Mm -hmm. you no, know, I That's think they were just like, treat him regular, tape yeah. that motherfucker's thumb of course. up. And guess what? circles all day long at the that's what i was gonna yeah. say yeah. they're not thinking at all about logistics <laughs> yeah. he yeah. needs thumbs because of his <laughs> yeah. other disability more than <laughs> anyone yeah, yeah. they yeah. should have put the club on his wheelchair <laughs> yeah. you know lock that thing yeah. up for a little bit so he can't roll now you got to know what it's like yeah, yeah. or one better take the wheelchair away <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Throw him to the ground. Yeah, have this poor son of a bitch roll it on the ground throw him to the ground take his pants off <laughs> he can't even prop himself up he's got no thumbs <laughs> you better hose him too <laughs> <laughs> wet him. make everyone wet that's what yeah. you should have did everyone we're all gonna be wet for the rest of the day just so you know what it's like to be handicapped yeah that's that so funny disability day turns into all right let's settle on this we wheel him out in front of the auditorium and all the kids throw rocks at him <laughs> i think that'll get the message across that's oh. what it's like to be him it's terrible <laughs> yeah. no i'm saying you hose the kids down you do a sixth grade wet and wild contest and you let everyone know this is what it's like to be a slut we're doing <laughs> national slut day <laughs> <laughs> slut awareness I do like the idea of different days for school i think uh similar baseball had done this and mm -hmm. that's what makes a baseball game more appealing is they have so many goddamn days every day you go to a baseball game yeah. it's a different day because they know how boring the sport <laughs> is i don't know why school doesn't do the same thing right where every day is a different day like you have disability national day, slut day national, national disability day, wild right. day. Mm -hmm. and you just you have all these different days you have old timers day where some of the couple seniors come back around they sit in the classroom they raise hell <laughs> <laughs> they raise hell come here rick they grabbing people by the ears you, know, you can't fire me i'm 24 <laughs> dude how crazy would you be as a kid if they went everyone come to school tomorrow with your clothes on backwards kids yeah. would lose their minds the whole day would be more fun totally you gotta liven up school we yeah. had that we did my friend group we had that in high school like we would do like hawaiian shirt day trucker hat day and then we did right. wife beater day and mm -hmm. the like the assistant principal called me and my friend and like you can't have wife beater day because because wife beating's bad and then mm -hmm. we we're like okay can we have uh tank top white undershirt day and he was like i don't see why not and uh, <laughs> went, yeah. went forward as planned. Uh, but yeah, we would We've do our Darnell's own day. parents' day because that's what they wore. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Did you, Greg, mention mm -hmm. this to me? And I, I uh, I'd forgotten this. You dyed your hair blonde in high school, right? Yep. Woke up that morning, and George said, "This is where the story came from." When George went, 
I guess you're gay now. <laughs> and I went, what? And then he ripped down my Alanis Morissette post. <laughs> oh, right. Yeah, so what? Snap. What about it? Uh, no, no. I was just thinking. If that's I was not to irony. Get... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it ironic? Yeah. Wake up in the morning with bleach blonde hair. Your stepdad comes in, rips it, rips the poster from the stairs. Isn't it ironic? Now they're you're like, gay. They're like, Alanis, <laughs> this song is great, but that one lyric is... It's just off. You don't know. Yeah. Um, here at Man and I'm Red the Red one Red. who identifies with it. <laughs> and I hate it. Brendo, did you dye your hair? Did you do any big did like ice... three weeks ago? He was blonde for like half the podcast. Yeah, Brendo, sorry, I'm Brendo sorry. did high school later. Yeah, he did you it know? in the third year of the Rad Dude cast. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but um, did you... I, I think there's always a fun thing to talk about. Did you guys go through drastic... Not by, a, man, a man go through goes through bodily changes. We all know that. Pu pubescence. But... Uh, did you go through like style changes? Like Greg tried to be a goth for six months and then way longer. <laughs> here's the here's the like here's the brutal here's the, here's, the, like, here's the horrible blind spot of my parents. Like yeah. here I was doing drugs, fucking like just right. being a piece of shit. But like the kinds being of any things good Irish teenager. <laughs> yeah, but the kinds of things. But if I wanted a pair of Jinko jeans or dye my hair or a wallet yeah. chain, it was like, what are you fucking crazy? Like they thought those were <laughs> they thought mm -hmm. those would turn me into the things I was already doing in regular clothes. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Like they really thought they were stopping me from becoming bad. And it's like, no, you're just stopping me from the minor things I kind of want. And really missing the whole boat on the fact I've done cocaine already, and I'm 15. <laughs> I've done cocaine and Wranglers. Mm -hmm. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Silver tab, parents, dog. So uh, silver tab, my bad. Um, yeah. parents always think clothes are gateway drugs to drugs. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not realizing drugs are the gateway drugs. No, clothes are gateway. <laughs> clothes are gateway gates to gay. Sorry, <laughs> fuck. Gateway. Gate with the gay has the gateway. <laughs> Um, As little Trevor would say, "Can I throw this in there? I want to talk about ahead. my goth." Yeah, yeah, I'd love to hear this because I don't actually think I know the full extent. Of this. Well, I identified as goth, but since my parents wouldn't buy me clothes, <laughs> I only ever got what the most goth I could get out of Joe's wardrobe. Uh, sure. So I would only ever have what Joe would wear. Right. So I'd have to go through his out his shirts and have to wear this KMFDM <laughs> shirt. And then I was like, I was like, I don't even know this band, but it's a black shirt, and I'm trying to do goth. I love Kamufta. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know what stands for. But what's crazy is I'd only get them after a certain amount of like time. Right. So it was like Joe would be in seventh grade, wear these clothes, and then I'd hit seventh grade, and this, mm. the clothes would stay in the grade. You That's, know what I mean? Because yeah, yeah, Joe would grow, hilarious. and I'd have to be like, well, you know, now we're doing the nine inch nails again right. this year, and this, right. and my desk would be like, we know this shirt. It's so funny because you look a lot like Joe too. Yeah. I wonder if teachers were like. Is this kid come back under a new name? I swear to God, I saw him graduate. <laughs> yeah. What is going on here? Yeah. Um, it's yeah, also, well. that's super interesting to me because I think that was really common because there were a lot of like makeshift uh, goths. You know what I mean? I don't think right, a lot yeah. of parents. We only, we only had Hot Topic. We, that's yeah. all we had. And I don't think a lot of parents were going like back to school shopping time. I'll take it a hot topic. You know what I Let's mean? Let's go to the funeral home. <laughs> yeah. So because I remember like goths that were like you, they would like paint their nails black, but they, nobody would get them black nail polish. So it was like a Crayola marker, you know, and yep. it was like yeah. just a it's lot a of like for a goth. a lot of homemade goths. You know, well, you had. The, yeah. Yeah. The, a goth requires so much decoration. But you need the money to go out and right. get the decoration. It's like hockey. It was a, it was right. strictly a North End <laughs> right, right. Uh, thing you could do in our town. You had to be rich. <laughs> be rich to be a goth. The South End goths were just people who were rubbing mud on themselves. <laughs> just dirt. Uh, right. just rub a bunch of dirt on your fingernails. I remember being like, hey, are you goth? And my friend was like, I'm the black person. I was like, I don't know anymore. You've got a lot of black on. I guess skin. I'm homeless. <laughs> right. Yeah. I guess I'll be goth, too. <laughs> yeah. Sure. Yeah. That's the thing. I'll uh, be that. That's so I don't have a roof. <laughs> Do you know how? Do you know how much money it costs to get a vampire costume? Get real. You know? Right. You keep Halloween costume all year. Just keep it on. And it's like, dude, Halloween was last month. He goes, nah, I'm doing goth. What I'm gonna be the crow all year. Well, that's what I liked about. I liked goth because there's no ideology. The only the ideology of goth is black. Sadness. What are you talking about? It's an really emotion. It. Melancholy. Right. 
really got, which I don't mind. You know what I mean? Yeah, you go up to people and go, are you punk rock? And they go, hmm. I go, oh, he's goth. He's frowning. Yeah. Punk rock. Like, there were things you had to do to be punk rock. Like you know what? what I mean? Like, you had to know certain bands, go to certain shows, adopt an attitude. You had to throw Slurpees at the at the, at at the cops, the pigs, yeah, at yeah, the pigs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to do stuff like that. You had to be anti-establishment. To be goth, all you had to be was sad. No, anti-life. Wear eyeliner. They were close as you. They were like tri- ah, They were they were vamps, wonderful. vampires. Right. Yeah. But there was goth music, and let me tell you, you got to get into this goth music. It's just <laughs> sounds. <laughs> goth music is like it's like math rock, right? Math, I don't know what math rock is, but it's I know sounds. No, goth, goth music <laughs> sounds like it was like a whale calls and shit, real low key, like <laughs> mo mo mo. <laughs> I love bim, it. Bim, bim, right. Yeah, not good. My, is that- Mike, what's the famous? What's a famous goth band? And then Brendo, you can talk. Okay, mm. great. Uh, <laughs> and then, and then, yeah, we, we listen. We're both, we're both all, we're both mighty yoked up. Mike, what did you say on? Uh, he said the Cure. He said the, oh, cure. the cure. Okay, the Cure I, is a good one. I would also go with so the Crow joy, soundtrack. But they, the Cure has a lot of words. Like Joy Division, to me, those they have a lot of words. The Cure. You gonna try to tell series. me the, the Cure was, was uh, in Joy Division? No, there weren't. But I'm saying though, they follow along the lines of what I think of the Cure. I think of the Cure. I think of Joy Division. I think of the. Let Smiths. Mike speak, and then I'm gonna get back to your point because uh, I cut Brandon it. I, I would say Joy is in line. Uh, Joy mm-hmm. Division, uh, New Water is more like new, uh, new wave than goth. Okay, great. Thank you, Mike. M- well, I'm going to let Brendan go. Musical, and then I'm going to go. Maybe well, I'll just go real quick. No yeah. one ever listened to Joy Division. Sorry, go ahead, Evan. That's what I, I wanted did. to say. No, you didn't. Everyone I, thinks they did. Everyone had the shirt, but no one ever heard that band. I don't even have the shirt. I don't care for him. Uh, Everybody had the shirt. I didn't even know they had a shirt. I that band is all shirts. Brendan, Brendan, go ahead. Before Brendan. Brendan keeps rudely interrupting you, I'm gonna turn my mic off. This jack off. The Visigoths mm-hmm. uh, were a Germanic people, and uh, <laughs> they were very fierce warriors. Mm-hmm. They actually mm-hmm. in in 400 okay. AD they sacked Rome. They sacked Rome mm-hmm. right right before Julius Caesar kind of came rose to power. Those guys, man. If they came around, they would be disgusted with what's happened to God. You know what I mean? <laughs> really? These were these tall, Germanic, right. shirtless, battle axes in hand, and they would come back and go, where are the goths? And they'd go, they're, they're at <laughs> fucking Spencer's gifts, man, but you're not going to like it. You are not mm. going to like it. They, have, they, they, they don't stack shit. They listen yep. to whale sounds. <laughs> what's the story could you be tan and be goth or would you have to goth had nothing to do with skin color okay. it had to do with putting white paint on your face like a geisha and putting black lipstick on your lips like a whore <laughs> some mix between asian culture and whore culture good god greg what <laughs> Or what it is culture. they fucking got the goths <laughs> the goths <laughs> stole whore culture and added it to vampire culture the weird thing about goths to me, which is like <laughs> the weird thing about I, I mean, it's absolutely right. It's de- you hit the nail on the head. I, I know. Well, it's just a wild doctrine to live by. Well, <laughs> I think what's so crazy about goths is like kind of my understanding of like the goth ethic is like mm-hmm. we don't care about anything. But it's like mm-hmm. You care about so much. You know how much work went into looking yeah. like you? I don't care about anything. I got sweatpants on, man. Am I, no, I'm in high school. You know, like that. You're you, nailing it. I didn't mean I was I was adding yeah. it too. I wasn't trying to cut you off. I was just juicing you. Sorry, B man. But that's the I thing. It away. It's like oh, we yeah. don't care. It's like you do care because you fucking right. went somewhere to buy that overcoat and you got eyeliner on. That's you the know, thing about that, the, yeah. the Yes, totally. I want. I this... keep doing this. I'm sorry. What's up? Man? No, you're okay. no, because I was trying to juice and jump with Brendan, hey, but I'm juice stopping jump. Brendan. Juice and jump. Juice and jump. I'm, trying to juice and jump. Jump. I'm not trying to drive the car juice off the road. Jump. Drive the car off the road, man. Drive the car off the road. To what I'm you're saying, ground you. The go- <laughs> I need ground. Touch wood. Touch wood. The goths care so much. That's why they're so sad. Because they have all of the emotions. Mm-hmm. And that's why they wear the darkness. Right. It's because they see the world for what it really is. Yeah. And one other part to that is they go like this. They go, we want death. We're all about death. But also, we still want to get laid. So this <laughs> sweater is going to have a cock cut out yeah, yeah. that I can pop my penis through and or a short little kind of maid skirt so I can get fucked in the bathroom at the mall. If that's possible, it is. The security guard's not watching, right? Because they, why, why? Because we come back to the point. Why? It's death culture. 
and whore culture. Sure. They're yeah. hoary dead people. Now I'm not. I want to touch on us. He sounds like a, a a weird pastor. Yeah, I know my like. <laughs> my voice is evolving. Like, this is his platform. It's like this sermon was strange. Yeah. Today's sermon was weird. Um, I will say uh, there was something funny about. I love when you said like these are the people who see the world for no one sees the world for what it really is like a twelve year old in the suburbs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. goes, I've seen behind the matrix. Uh, yeah. Homework isn't even helping us. <laughs> Black <laughs> eyeliner, white face paint, cannibal yeah. corpse shirt. Once I get my hands on my twenty dollar a week allowance, <laughs> things are gonna change in society. You aren't seeing the art behind George Romero's Dawn of the Dead like I do. <laughs> It and speaks there was, to Bill Clinton's run in the presidency. <laughs> and Go there ahead, was no like proper. Nobody was ever a proper amount of goth. It was either you had like everyone. They were all sort of fake, like Spencer gifts, like like bullshit, like sub suburban rich kids. And then on the opposite end, on, end of that, like about once or twice a year, there'd be some goth kids that killed a guy in the woods you know what i mean there's no one <laughs> sure sure <laughs> sure i know what you're saying right. there's no yes. one that's just like going full on the right amount totally. of not caring it was like all bullshit and then every once in a while a guy that went to goth you know where they're too like goth. oh that's get going back to the ideology thing they don't have a natural epitome of goth right you know if you're punk you can you can do something where you go that's the punkiest thing you can do. Right. But with goth, it's like I wear more black right. than everybody. <laughs> like there's no thing you can do aside from being an actual vampire, <laughs> which don't exist. So it's a dead end road in a way, unfortunately. And yeah. you know what Bloomfield missed out on? We missed out on the what are those like not they were like the extra goth where they would wear like gas masks and shit, <laughs> you know? Oh, they were like oh, wear electric yeah. green, green hats. <laughs> Oh, and they would just dance in the park half naked and then they'd yeah. have gas masks yeah. on. That's and sort of like uh, yeah. rave goth, a little bit of yeah. a rave goth you're talking about yeah. or a with a hint of steampunk mixed in, maybe steampunk. Yeah, yeah. Mad Max yeah. culture. Well, yeah. see, that's the thing with I, I think when you're goth, you also have to you can't just you're going to be happy. You know mm. what I mean? Like for the most part, you know what I mean? Most human beings, no matter what, even if it comes from someone else's sadness, you're going to find a glimmer of happiness, but they can't ever be happy because their ideology is just not happy. Bad. So right. they have to remain goth <laughs> while dancing and having sex. <laughs> and therein lies the problem with them. Yeah. Because <laughs> they have to go, we still need to portray that we're sad, <laughs> but I am coming. So how do we do this? They, say, they go, I'm, I'm, I'm coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's how they come with yeah. a cry. Well, wear a black condom, dude. <laughs> we had this girl in uh, who was goth in our school, right. who I remember her, and she'd carry a skateboard around. And I was part of the skate crew, so I was yeah. always trying to like be like, "Yo!" So I remember being like, "Yo, come skate with us," and she would go, "This isn't. I'm holding the skateboard for my boyfriend," <laughs> and. She only ever carried the skateboard. There was never a boyfriend. Mm. I don't know how. Interesting. Yes, it was like a new a goth angle, a right? Full accessory. Yeah, full accessory of a skateboard that she never rode, and then said it was for her boyfriend. Weird. That did not exist. And I, I was like, mm, I kind of like looking back. I go, I like. Oh, and this also teams well with that guy Eric, who I didn't like. Mm. Who his move was? He would put earphones in, and then I saw him one day yelling. He goes, "Fuck that guy!" And I was like, "What?" He goes, "I'm the guy who wears headphones <laughs> hooked up to nothing." <laughs> and I remember going, "Like that's what you do." <laughs> That's the move you went for in oh, high school. Man, that's awesome. You, I, got, you got other people out there. Edison's like, I did the light bulb. <laughs> yeah. It's like, I do earphones. I know yeah. the music attached. I would like a school where more people, more social uh, groups are doing uh, uh, non-functional accessories like like the, uh, the, the like uh, the snobs. Like I'd love to see a kid just bring skis to school you know what i mean <laughs> that's an anthony move just yeah, i can like, see what? him doing that totally yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. You let people know you're rich without beating them over the head with it jet yeah. ski yeah. keys yep. just dangling yeah. them oh, yeah. oh my jet ski keys fell out <laughs> that's fine i'll just buy another jet ski yeah. Shout out. i'm not bending down for a jet ski i mean i lose money by bending down i'm in high school yeah 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 time is money and we all know that and a bend is time so that's a thousand dollars oh I want to add a caveat to the old Eric headphone move. Yeah. What he would do was he would not have the headphones playing, but the reason it was because you weren't allowed to listen to your headphones in school. Right. Right. So it kind of reminds me of like, 
you find like they try to get you you're carrying a gun and then the cops arrest you and they go oh it's not loaded you know what i mean <laughs> like it could be like hey we got you on headphone offense and he goes sorry pal not today this is an <laughs> yeah. empty wire no cd player here <laughs> Yeah, go catch a real criminal pig. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Must guess I'm gonna anti skip detention, <laughs> just like my CD player. Sorry. Uh no, that's okay. Um uh, back to you. Oh, Dave. that goth that goth thing you were saying about dressing up isn't there I'm trying to think, was is that close to a Mulaney bit or is that a Mulaney bit? What? I just want to let everybody know that we're not ripping I've this ripped, okay, I'm just off. kind of I've accidentally I said now. seven Mulaney bits. I, I I thought I came up with that quicksand thing I said on here. You guys <laughs> told me that was a Mulaney bit. So what's you know the what? Mulaney bit? There's he has some uh, some bit that I'm remembering about. I think it's on his first or second album about being goth and having to like like they're sad, but then they I I, I don't know if it's what Brendan was saying. You know, because you know we have such comedy nerds that listen to this podcast, and they'll raise their ninny little fingers and they'll go, "You're steal, you're you're beating a down horse." Well, like, I gotta know the bit. Poor man. Fuck go them, ahead, because you know what? If I'm just a guy that, because I don't really, I haven't seen that much Mulaney. I don't care for comedy, as you guys know. Uh, right, sure, yeah. and it, mainly I, like I don't care for laughs. He's goth. Yeah, so it, me. <laughs> mainly an Irish folk drama man. Yeah. <laughs> so if if I just happen to be a guy that writes B Mulaney bits 15 years after he did. Fuck you. No caveat necessary. You know what I mean? Right. But right. also, that could be a Mulaney bit. I don't know. Anthony. I would argue this on, on the defense of Brendan. My man has done bits on this podcast that he's done on this podcast. So Brendan is sometimes even just stealing from himself. Well, as you, know have I mean? you we've I'm done 9,000 podcasts. Don't think I'm the only guy that's repeated a story on the Rad Dude cast. Yeah, but you repeat stories because someone zapped your brain in, a, in the funky house. That's true. They took him. They took him down to the funky house. <laughs> they gave him. A, they gave him a zip zap zap down to the funky house. They, they gave him half the. I love that when they try to give someone the electric chair. Two seconds before he dies, they cure his mental illness, yeah. and then they kill him. <laughs> yeah, you know, right. they zap his That's brain. So he goes, funny. "I don't want to murder anymore." That's, Too yeah, late. Oh, yeah. uh, I know why I killed those people. The end. <laughs> <laughs> That's so funny. Uh -huh. Somebody write that down. I'm gonna, I'm gonna My do that. I do Brendan's other stuff. But it turns like out I was sad. <laughs> end of life. <laughs> My father. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, it's low end that, electric chair stuff. They don't get into that much anymore. The electric chair. They've really shifted to a full lethal injection system. Yeah. Uh the electric no, chair. Dumb. That was a fun way to go. Guys, head smoking. You know. Yeah. Sometimes it worked. Sometimes it didn't. The the yeah. The, the lights in the city would dim for a while. That was the way to go. You know, that was I'd probably pick if I could pick, I'd I'd say uh, I think I'd go the gas chamber because they don't do that anymore. And that looks like a that looks like a fun area. You know what I mean? It looks mm. like an aquarium that they emptied out where <laughs> sharks used to swim. So I'd for a while, I'd pretend yeah. I was at SeaWorld and then I'd die. You know who knows the best, but you know who we should get in. We should get a goth in here. They know the best way to die. Yeah, they've they've, they've cooked every, every angle. All right, they stay. That's what I, I I said. This that's like the way a woman waits for her wedding day. A goth waits for their funeral. <laughs> they've got it all planned out. Um, that's that great. Um, this is not that's not that, but that great Paul F. Tompkins bit, which isn't that when uh, he goes. Uh, I saw a goth running down the street the other day, and I yelled out, "Hey, where's the funeral?" <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> you don't often see a goth running. <laughs> it's a great Paul F. Tompkins <laughs> joke. Um, uh, what was I? I was uh, thinking of something as you were. What were oh, you know what I liked about mm -hmm. well, the, the was there two things about the electric chair. One, I loved when they put uh, not to borrow Greg's word, but I loved when they put that funky little hat on you. Yeah. Um, yeah. Two, the electric chair was you. You had the greatest chance of transference of soul. From yourself into something else. Sure. That you're talking about the movie Shocker. Yeah. So well, Shocker. About? Yeah. Uh, I, there are a couple other movies as well. I think it, it wasn't that. Didn't that happen in Child's Play? Probably. Child's Play did it all. Chair was always because I don't think people really understand electricity still all that well. And I've actually have a good example of uh -huh. this. Um, that I think we can go. Yeah, just lightning them. And what something, yeah. something crazy will happen. Right, 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 I mean? right, like, right. Like the Flash. Yeah, like Flash well, got Flash. hit with lightning. Powder. There's a million right. of them that they right. just uh, thunderstruck with Kevin Durant. Yeah, it's, Brendan with his <laughs> mental illness. <laughs> with yes, they me, cleared his uh, brain out. 
Uh, well, it's absolutely why they've had to crack down on the wire situation with the electric chair because they were letting them run willy nilly. And the problem <laughs> was you, that's the problem. They were letting the fucking wires run willy nilly in the eighties. And it'd be like a guy was just walking by hey, yep. all of a sudden you're the soul of John Wayne Gacy. Good luck guy who was walking by, you know, now you want to eat a little boy's dick. You fucking, yeah. why do you think I have him surrounded by wires? And superheroes. Yeah. I'm praying that the Spider Man will fall into the wires and then I'll get superpowers. Yeah. Yeah. So I live oh, and I pray. And the second thing I want is uh, nothing. You okay. Yeah, I'm waiting for you. Okay. okay. <laughs> what did you say? I didn't say anything yet. All right. Was, well, keep it coming. I'm ready. I haven't started. Was, what? <laughs> I just gotta remember you're next to me, and I don't think do this way. Angry before it begins. I'm ready. I'm actually um, ready. I learned over the weekend that the uh, the humble uh, the humble worm uh, one uh, some Wait. kind of worm the humble worm or a worm. It's a worm or a specific worm no. that you called the humble worm. Well, why not? Why not give it a little pepper? <laughs> All right, pepper it up. The man. humble worm. <laughs> uh, one of them. I don't know the name of which uh, species. species of worm this is. But if you cut their head, they'll regenerate the head, or they'll mm -hmm. regenerate a limb rather than the head. And they, this science, somebody has worked on this, and he's figured out that the way they regenerate, it's actual, it's electric current. So, suck on that, succotage. <laughs> <laughs> And we got the clip, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and these worm science they just know, said true. worms electric <laughs> suck a dash. Look, I didn't read the article. It was told to me. You saw the words. Yeah. They went, nip, 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 nip. <laughs> got it. Lock it in. Yeah. Well, worm. Well, everything is done by electric because that's how uh, there's electric jolts from your, your uh, thoughts go from your toes to your brain through electric. Do you know that? Not water. <laughs> People, kids think water. Now, electric <laughs> a bunch of water. I like I a guy was a tube of water. I do like <laughs> a guy that's running a water system, just hydraulic pressure. That's how his yeah. body is running. Steampunk he's going, human. He's going. I'm doing different. I'm doing different. Everyone's <laughs> mm -hmm. doing uh, uh, electrons firing from their uh, uh, from their you know uh, neurons in their brain. Not me. A bunch mm -hmm. of pressurized steam, like a <laughs> like an old train. That's how I think. Yeah. Did you guys know, fun Greg fact here, that the electric slide was actually called the electric water slide? And that song was about a kid. Because you know how they do those old songs, sure. like Ring Around the Posies, really right. about the fires of England, all the children were dead. <laughs> right. That's yeah. what the electric slide was right. originally about, uh, the Mountain Creek water slide incident, where a bunch <laughs> of kids were fried on an electric water slide. And they cut. That's why there's no real words. The electric slide just, you can do it. It's electric. The only part that stayed was, it's electric! And kids <laughs> dying. <laughs> and, so if you can and, go ahead and write us an electric slide, water slide song, fill in those words. Well, that's, I think, where the boogie woogie woogie comes from. Exactly. So that's that's they clearly simplified. someone trying to talk underwater. Yeah, it's the boogeyman coming back for the souls. They simplified oh, their right. they simplified their death screams. Uh, over time, <laughs> it became boogie woogie woogie woogie. But it initially, it was. <laughs> <laughs> it's electric rubber get it. that's why i like to wear rubber underwear ground myself you got if i get shocked by electric baby. i wear i hold lead in my i would hold a piece of lead mm. and rubber underwear in case i get struck by lightning that's what i know about science you need lead and rubber and then you fear away the electric shocks of uh, he's never been struck by lightning ring. not once so once Proof, proof it kind of works. <laughs> Proof's in the pudding. Mike, there, if you can bring up that worm at some point, don't yeah. worry, you know, as slow, uh, slow as you go. You know, there's a guy, there's a guy, and Mike, this might be another thing to check on, but he's got the world record. Uh, he's like a forest ranger. He's uh -huh. been struck by lightning, uh, like, I think eight <laughs> times. And at that, at some point, it's like, hey, man, you're doing something wrong. Right. You know what I right. mean? Like, you're... You're going for this, I think. Like yeah. you're going out into fields. You're going. You're climbing tree. Like some, yeah. or he's just lying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I got struck yeah. by a lightning yeah. again, honey. You're yeah. having an affair. Yeah. Going, Greg's always going back. But this is a man's way to cheat. This is a man's way to cheat. <laughs> yeah. You have sex with a hooker in a park, and then you just put some soot on yourself, so your wife goes electric again. Yeah, yeah. 
the seventh the seven, let me read it out loud the seventh time that park ranger roy sullivan was struck by lightning coincided with the 22nd time he fought off a bear with a stick this is the greatest liar yeah, I mean, of roy, all time roy is a clear liar not even trying <laughs> let me tell you he came home and they she went don't even try that you got <laughs> struck with lightning and he went this mud is from a bear I fought. <laughs> yeah, that Meanwhile, is... his dick is still sticking wet. Yeah. Man, yeah. Roy, you don't got to go so big. <laughs> you know? Yeah. You're hanging, you know, a late night with the fellas. Went too late. Had one yeah. too many. Had to yeah. sleep. <laughs> She's my cousin. Man, yeah. but not Roy. I'll go, you're, you're not going to believe it happened again. You know that expression? Uh, it's like getting struck. The chances are less than getting struck by lightning. <laughs> yeah. Seven times. That's happened to me seven times. Also, what are these boils on your penis? I don't it's even. The lightning. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's the lightning. It's the lightning. I'm saying, you know, I'm trying to I do a thing, a chlamydia joke. Line. It was good. Yeah. It was good. <laughs> like, uh, go ahead, I man. stepped on it. I also don't even understand that fact that Mike pulled up. His seventh time coincided with his 22nd <laughs> time fighting off. What do you mean? So he was fighting a bear with a stick for the 22nd time and then yeah, got struck yeah. by lightning during the fight? Is that what do you mean coincided? Like, that's crazy. Well, <laughs> let me tell you through his eyes what that story is, which I would say is almost a, one of the great. If this is a true story, which I love, is that he's being attacked by a bear right. and the bear is going to go for is the kill strike and then he goes please god no right. and then raiden himself <laughs> strikes down both of them with lightning and then he just goes clearly god exists yeah. you know what i mean like if he wasn't right. saved by the bell right when the middle of that fight yeah god's got he's keeping roy sullivan alive for something we don't know just yet, yet. or trying to kill him <laughs> oh, he's yeah. clearly in, yeah. the, in the middle of the battle of the light right. and the dark yeah. right is the devil versus satan as the devil, the God tries to strike him down, but the devil's keeping him walking. Yeah, Roy has something to do with the outer world. Right. And the, there is an outer world battle here. There is a Mortal Kombat situation going on with old Roy <laughs> Sullivan. I mean, who gets fought, struck? Who, who has to deal with fighting a bear, lightning, cancer-free, by the way? Right. You know, usually the easiest right. way to get somebody <laughs> right. mystically is cancer. Sure. Right. But, yeah. Yeah, if Maybe Roy... If Roy is not a liar and if Roy is not having an affair and not like just deliberately like going for this stuff, like mm -hmm. ha hanging out in bear caves and just holding up right. fucking umbrellas in the middle of a the field, then he is this is the like he must be just so fucking bewildered by life. Just like every, no one else I know has been struck by lightning once or ever fought a bear. I'm on yeah. seven and 22. This is <laughs> great. Like, what the fuck, man? Can I catch a break like that? He just yeah. wasn't it, like you my guys man say, is the beast master. Yeah, there's he's the, some, he's the beast master. There's some divine fight in his soul where there something's going on. You think Roy ever goes to the beach and like, Roy, why don't you go in the water? He was like, the water. You see what happens to me on land? What do you think happens if I go in the water? 40 sharks immediately. And also, I'm magnet for lightning. So you want to swim around me? Enjoy, because I'm going to be lighting up this pond. Yeah, we got to strap a uh, GoPro on Roy's head. <laughs> really see what's going on there. Get some evidence. Is Roy dead? Mike, Can you? I, if he I, is, can you tell us how he died? Please say old age <laughs> or or uh, just dissipated. Yeah, his body, his cells just fell apart. I also think if you're and Michael looked that up, but I think if you're a park ranger, you have like kind of a limited air, somewhat limited area. That's your jurisdiction within that park. So there must have been at least one time with a bear where he was like, hey, man, we already fought. You know, like right. that, that was yeah. settled. Right. You know, you're well, news. We settled that yeah. already. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Why are you bringing up old shit, Bear? Yeah. <laughs> it was handled back in 1993. Yeah. You're still bad about me fucking your wife, <laughs> right? Yeah. And then he's he's fighting another bear, and he's like, "Let me guess who what this is about. <laughs> yeah. This is revenge for Terry, isn't right. it? <laughs> well, I'm here to tell you that we left on good terms. <laughs> you just say one bear racial slur on a radio show. <laughs> And all of a sudden, you got to fight bears for the rest of your year. <laughs> and he was on the radio being like, hello, DJ Dan. Look at these hairy cocks. And he goes, do not <laughs> yeah. say that about the bears. What's, what are yeah. they going to do? I dare you, bear. Find me. 
Yeah. Also, let me tell you something about lightning. <laughs> Bullshit. Yeah. He went, I'm sick of these. I'm sick of these goddamn grizzos coming into the park, stealing our jobs. <laughs> like, you fucked up, Terry. You fucked up, dog. Or whatever. Bears are pussy. And Odin is a cocksucker. <laughs> Who does Odin do lightning? Who does it lightning? I think so. Yeah. He's, a, he's, uh, around. he's around. I, I think Odin and uh, isn't isn't Thor the main lightning jammer? No oh, right, yeah. The God of Thunder. How did I miss that? In my head, Odin is his dad. You know, yeah. So he's got some. He can do some electric stuff. Sure. You know, least. it's like, uh, you know, maybe, maybe he uh, can't control lightning, but he could, he could charge your phone. What if Odin just has one great card trick. <laughs> <laughs> That's like, all you need in life, really. To re get, you could get really far off one great card trick. You know, yeah, you go to a business meeting. Career. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. You Sorry, but come on. Don't keep going, bro. Staples. No, I was done. Yeah, I was just saying. No. You one great card trick. You show anyone, they love it. They love yeah. it, and they go. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, go ahead. You an Mike. Answer your question from earlier, Greg. Uh, he died in 1983 from a self-inflicted gunshot wound. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's suicide. Of course, yeah, Roy. Self-inflicted gunshot wound is suicide <laughs> and or fighting off the lightning. Well, I'd say anybody who keeps getting struck by lightning and fighting bears at one point goes. I'd like this madness to end. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> or he goes, I'm pretty sure I can take anything. Right. Watch yeah, yeah, this. Yeah. And then blew his brains out. Uh, when, yeah, yeah. I guess I was wrong. <laughs> if that wasn't. Yeah. If he that, saw that movie Unbreakable. <laughs> I was going to say, if that wasn't yeah. an Unbreakable test, I don't know what yeah. was. Bruce Willis <laughs> did it with a weight bench. He did it with a fucking Colt 45. And yeah, uh, it turned out classic. old old Mr. Glass was let down. <laughs> Damn, I bro. guess I'm not a god. Yeah. You fight <laughs> Seven bears, 22 lightning bolts. What do you got to be to be a god in this town? Yeah. And someone just handed him a magnum and he went, all right, <laughs> let's take her for a spin. Oh, man. So, yeah, Mike. What, and then uh, what about that worm, man? <laughs> yeah. What about that worm, dude? The humble I, worm. This is very interesting to me because I'm Greg, <laughs> Let me pose this question to you. I, what I'm wondering now is what does Anthony think Mike is going to add to the story other than what Anthony has already told us, which is that worms regenerate their heads via electricity. I don't see any way we'll find any knowledge that we are able to understand beyond well, what you've told us. Because a lot of people out there think it's cellular regeneration and it's not. It's uh, through electrical. It's it's electrical current, and your brain is tr it's the the brain of the worm is tricking the worm into thinking that it has some extra worm stuff. So it you mean like a body worm stuff? What's extra worm stuff? The body of the worm. right. Well, like, you still worms, got it, man. So I don't know what to call them. What they got? So the worm is going. I don't think I got a body. Yeah. But then the worm's brain is like sending signals. Dude, you got it. You got a body. And then man. the body's like, I guess we got it. I guess we got it. And then the worm's intact again. And I think the whole process probably takes twenty five years. What a twenty five year old humble worm. <laughs> What's well, going on? Six minutes. I don't know. Let me ask you because you seem to Jump. know a lot about the the humble worm. Uh, <laughs> what are they doing? <laughs> rain wise why are they always out in the sidewalk dead when it rains do they because is it the the rain comes into their home and they have to escape or what's going on there they love they love to get wet oh yeah you yeah know? they're slutty worms are also <laughs> yeah. very slutty yeah. yeah they go let's go out Slinky it's, bunch let's go out there and party like it's the end of covid <laughs> yeah. and this is washington square park let's yeah. get laid tonight and right. then when the sun comes out um, there's also there's a guy who comes around and murders all the worms. The little ant, their little <laughs> the ants eat them. Well, yeah. Well, that's the other thing. No one ever knows with animals too. This is a good point that you brought up. Thank you. Uh, no one knows with animals how if they're sad. You know, you see a bird eat a worm, mm -hmm. and you go, "That poor worm." But it's like you don't know the worm might have been like old Roy Sullivan, who's just yeah. like life is hell. <laughs> yeah, and yeah. I'm looking to end it, and these birds seem to love me. Yeah, so. If I could hop one in into their beaks, I'd be happy to. <laughs> right. Maybe they're out. Yeah. Also, we don't know about worm heaven. You know, maybe they don't die. Maybe the worms have a, maybe the worms go to worm heaven where, uh, where there's so many, where there's no hooks and there's no birds. <laughs> what do worms eat? Dirt? Ah, uh, yeah. I think the I think nutrients so. in soil. And then they, it's yeah. good. It's good to have like, uh, earthworms in your garden because they, they, they like eat certain nutrients and they shit out worm shit. Is good for your garden. So I gotta say something here. <laughs> yeah, You're, we call them earthworms. 
You know where I'm going with this. Yeah. Who named them? Aliens? Right. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? Right. We're, they're Incredible all earthworms. Form. Right. I mean, we're all earth humans. Yep. Right. Earth goes without saying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. The only it, time it, you need to hear earthworm is in an intergalactic council when they, they yep. say, please, for the delegate from the ground on uh, Zeno 2. That's what they call Earth. Right. Uh, Zeno 2. It, you know, we didn't name it because they, they're, they're a fire being. And they go, earthworm. And the guy goes, no, I'm actually a Mars worm. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Right. Earthworm is in the bathroom. Yeah. I'm just holding his Whoa, dude. marble notebook. <laughs> <laughs> We're not well, all worms aren't all the same, dude. <laughs> yeah. That's how you Earth burn. Man. That's how you burn a science man. Because I'll do a thing where I'll go, I'll go, check out that, check out that earthworm. And the mm -hmm. guy will go, uh, actually, that's a coral, <laughs> that's a coral <laughs> reef worm. And I go, oh, really? What planet is it on? <laughs> Fuck you. And uh, yeah, <laughs> and they go uh, uh, Earth, but 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 by that time they've already <laughs> lost their degree and their grant. Yeah, yeah, but, 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 um, and their uh, manhood. <laughs> yeah, what? Uh, yeah, what? Nothing. Oh, that was a good point <laughs> that you made about the worms. Uh, Thank point. you. Something else that I wanted to say, and Brendo must be dealing with this right now in Ohio, because I was just in in Cincinnati, and you're in Cleveland, and what's happening right now? And Brendan, I'm sure you're aware of this, but Brood X is here. Are you talking about cicadas? Yeah. Shut up. Yeah. I've been following. I follow them Have every year. Follow I always follow, <laughs> you follow the cicadas them every year. Yes. <laughs> Yes. They only really do stuff once every 17 years, but I love that you're following them every year. I go, is yeah. this the year? I always Google it. Every new year, I go, happy new year. Is it a cicada year? And they go, no. And I go, fuck. Not like, going to be a good year. I love that Greg's cicada, uh, cicada ticker blog that's just 16 out of 17 years ago is another, another, another down year for cicadas. Check, check back. Same station, same time next year. Greg's blog is like the cicadas themselves. Yeah. <laughs> just pretty much doing nothing until that one year. Well, I got to say this about the cicadas. Everyone yeah. says it's seven years, but that's different time every year. They're cicadas. Well, they're different broods. Right. But then fuck it. Right. What are we doing? You're making it this whole thing about you only see them every seven years, <laughs> but that's only to the person who goes, huh? No, nope, that's the three year cicada. Actually, there is a cicada every year. It's just a different kind of cicada. Yeah. I, what I, now? What, no, wait, before, Tell me then, before you get, Mr. Cicada, before you get that before you become a snapping turtle on me, um, <laughs> Too late. the different broods correspond to the different places. So Brood X is going to hit in 15 states, Ohio being one of the most struck, mm -hmm. whereas then there's, uh, I think it's Brood 4, Brood 3 that hits in New Jersey a different year. Mm -hmm. So we might have been victim to Brood 3 in our days. As right. Youths. But then Brendo is a uh, he's a he's a he knows Brood X better than anyone. So you're saying people could just travel the country. You could, uh, you know, kind of like how you want to run from the sun down. You know, you just <laughs> get on an airplane and you just go west. <laughs> And you never you stay with the sun. That's what I want to do with the cicadas every year. Move to a state where the cicadas are that, so I can always hear the clicking. It's my natural white noise. I can always sleep. But I I had a I had a sad I had a sad incident last year. I was home in Cleveland last year, and uh, a fella from Brood X came out, and he and and he goes, ah, uh, oh, fuck, How, what what year is it? And I go, it's twenty twenty, man. He goes. Ah, oh, God, I, I came early. I came yeah. early. And they don't live that long. So no. he'll never see any of his friends or family because he came out one year too early. Just got to <laughs> go around by himself till he dies. And uh, yeah. that's wow. a dangerous game because you're sleeping and you got to keep direct track of 17 years while you're asleep. And mm -hmm. uh, it's tough. You know, I didn't no study. iPhones. No, 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 right. I, no I, iPhones. No, no alarms. Aren't even throwing phones in the dirt to help these no. little guys out. Well, I would also argue that you know there could be a silver lining, kind of like when COVID happened. It's mm. kind of all the cicadas; they don't wake up. You wake up. You got the whole earth to yourself. You know what I mean? Like you could check out all the hot cicada places before they're open. You know, you're at the park. <laughs> sure, there's no yeah, yeah. your Disney World. That's no lines. There's no point. lines anywhere. You you're go picking the trees. Yeah, yeah you're yeah, picking yeah. the trees. You totally. just kind of have your own little thing going. Yeah, he yeah. he ended That's up. So he, yeah, he ended up. Uh, <laughs> He ended up marrying a stag beetle because there there were no cicadas around. So it was the first interracial kind of beetle related marriage. So that. But was were they big. in love? Other other than uh, Yoko, 
uh in general. right uh but, uh, were they in love though brendan uh man it's i'll be honest it seemed like a green card kind of deal to me but uh <laughs> mm. you know these this is one of these beetles wasn't allowed in the state uh but uh you know they've grew to tolerate each other you know who's cocky who's that 1990 the 1997 praying mantis because my God, if you killed one of those in 1997, you had four thousand dollars. So the praying mantis used to walk around town, just saying all types of shit, being like, right. "What are you gonna do, pal? What are you gonna do? Right. You yeah. step on me? That's the government will shut you down. Can't really? fuck with me." I don't remember this, dude. Yeah, man, you don't remember oh. those the praying mantises would knock on your door, <laughs> flip you off, you couldn't do shit. Man. Yeah, because the government would would kill you. The government would charge you four thousand dollars if you killed a praying mantis. We were a different country under Bush. <laughs> We right. really were senior. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And junior. I think he would have been. I'm not sure. I mean, Clinton would have been the president. Yeah. I think that's good. Years, but uh... either way, we were a different country under all those presidents. I, but this I, time being Clinton with his praying mantis rule. Right. Couldn't it, Who cares about Iran? <laughs> but we got to keep these praying mantises going. We got a terrorist on my doorstep because of God. This little green guy. Right. And I can't touch him. I think you can kill them now legally, though. Well, the, the, it, the thing with praying mantis is it's a, if you kill a praying mantis, it's a religious crime. So you mm. can't do it Well, because they're praying. Th no, I, I totally. You didn't have to explain that. Not even <laughs> you didn't even need to take a second to explain that. I honestly think it, might been, it was hand delivered to my brain. But back then there was these rules about have you killed one for grand. My brother, because of that, you we went to the botanical gardens, mm -hmm. which the horse used to call the biotech gardens because a guy can't read uh we go there public school system is hilarious and you can buy a um you were able to buy these praying mantis eggs which i probably told the story before yeah my, my dad just goes this seems like a great gift for joe <laughs> joe buys them puts them in his garage a week later opens up this shed and there's over four million praying mantises <laughs> covered in the shed and my dad like a horror movie oh my, uh, my dad was like Jesus. ah and we had this stepbrother chris who at the time was like 17 and we were like eight you know and the only thing i remember really about chris he was a great guy except that he was going through a breakup at the time so he would always listen to um uh what, who's that who's that goddamn singer who's romantic it was like he, tony bennett no he would he did the karate kid song right there waiting for you uh -oh. Richard Marx. He oh, listened Richard. to Richard Marx and cry in his room, is what I remember. <laughs> he was a great guy, but he was right. going through a hard breakup when sure, he was 17. He took it, took it, sure. Anyway, yeah. how I think he got over that breakup was through the cold murdering of a million <laughs> praying mantises in the shed. Then my dad was like, here's a bat. Go in there. Take care of them. Yeah. And then he he made some kind of spray, too, and he murdered all these praying mantises <laughs> that my brother was my brother was like sad. He's like, they were my children. <laughs> you know what I mean? I love the idea of Chris comes out with a bat and he just goes, well, I guess everything ends. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> for, I feel a lot better now. The Lord ain't going to help you now, mantis. Yeah. Can I say this? Yeah. Your dad's such a religious man. If your dad saw a flock of praying mantises, would your dad just go, it's upon us? Yes, he went. Yes. One of the signs. One of the seven <laughs> signs. Check the ocean. Is it boiling? <laughs> yeah. Because this is it, folks. I hear hooves. <laughs> also, what a what a crazy. Uh, what a, oh, I can read it, yeah. What a wild uh, plan of conservation. Like, OK, <laughs> here's what we're going to do. If someone kills one of these things, four thousand dollar fine. How are we going to find out? No one knows. There's no praying mantis cops. But Rats. we got the $4,000 fine, but we will allow a child to buy their eggs at a gift shop. Uh, that <laughs> fully legal. No problem there. Uh, we'll sell. They we'll were traffic. a wacky state, all right. That's, yeah. how you, no, but that's how you knew the herbs in class. They'd walk to the police station and they'd go, officer. I'd like to report a crime, <laughs> no, a murder, a kidnapping, an OJ. And they went, Billy stepped on a praying mantis. <laughs> yeah. And the cops would come to that house and they would beat the shit out of Billy. His parents would say, no, they'd beat the shit out of the parents. Mm. And then they'd throw Jesus. that ticket on the ground. They go, pay this. And he'd, and the Billy would go, I have spit blood on the ticket. Right. Fuck, you're fine. <laughs> That's what I think. That's what I think. <laughs> That's not what you think. That's what you knew. That's what I know. That's what I know in my heart. Like Greg was Billy. That's what I'll say this. <laughs> I like when you say it. That's what I think, and that's what I know in my heart. Know in my heart means you still don't know. Yeah, no. You that's... know, your heart's not the thing this that remembers things. This is what I things. blindly believe <laughs> yeah. for no real reason of logic. Right. But I can't get this out of my head. 
Um, and I'm fighting against this instinct, if gnawing we, instinct. If we could get a million prey mantises and, and dump them in someone's room, that's a real good Impractical Jokers bit. <laughs> <laughs> that's something the support group would have a... Well, the, <laughs> that old Impractical Joker support group might have to have <laughs> yeah, a right. that. <laughs> That was like a classic. That's like a old one of the oldest like sort of fraternity pranks in the book is like uh, let loose like uh, thousands of crickets in someone's house because they're just there forever. You can't right. you can't get rid of them and they make they never stop with their noise. They never stop. Uh, well, and their judgment on your shoulders telling you what's right yeah. and wrong. <laughs> yeah, you get a million crickets. It's a million people like. Don't steal, steal, don't. And they're screaming at each other. The yeah. red ones versus the green. Oh, Classic. Totally. Sure. A hundred Jewish mothers in your frat yeah. house. All of a sudden. And you and you got to find a corresponding number of matchboxes to make into their beds. <laughs> oh yeah, and, uh, yeah. It's, it's, it's a nightmare. Uh, yeah, <laughs> that's what they should do. If they want your, if they want to get you to wear a, if they want you to get you to wear a seatbelt, they should play on the conscious. You know that you'll feel mm. bad, not just about getting money. They should say, click it or cricket. Right, <laughs> click your belt, or that cricket in your mind is gonna say you should have put that thing on. <laughs> <laughs> I love the idea. Like we did try the click it or cricket campaign, but I don't think it worked in real life. Yes, turns out crickets aren't like cartoons; they just kind of beep a lot. <laughs> or they go click it, or we'll put a million crickets in your car. <laughs> all right. yeah, click it or cricket. I love that. That's the second beat. The guy goes, "All right, well, what about click it or a million crickets?" <laughs> yeah. go, well, we'll try that. Then. <laughs> click it or crickets. Oh man. Anyway, uh, right. I got to make a quick announcement. Uh, and I'm not saying we're done, but it, maybe we're done. But uh, yeah, this is the uh, remember, this is the second last ever the penultimate, the penultimate free episode of the Rad Dude cast. Uh, I mean, official episode. Uh, and uh, God but damn, man. Worry, got... I'm just going to I'm going to keep going. So. Yeah, that's well, that's <laughs> what I'm going to announce guys. is Greg so is going to keep rise going. rise of the Greg Stone podcast. Same RSS feed, same <laughs> Patreon, everything. So I highly probably Brendan and I will be there. So basically the same. I, yeah, I will be <laughs> editing them in. So and not paying them. <laughs> it's just going to be Brendan going. Yeah, right. Yeah. And no one will know. <laughs> no one will know. Um, they might know. Well, yeah, we'll see if you know. I mean, you told We're going to find out. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. That's the reality is you guys haven't been here for a year. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Prove it. Crazy. True. This I is... am a hologram. Yeah. <laughs> you're, a, you're a degenerate hologram. Yeah. Brendo, go what ahead. What was your announcement? That was it. Just just <laughs> saying thank you and saying to, that you got a podcast that's going to go on. Same RSS feed, same Patreon. And I highly recommend staying subscribed. And uh, 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 it's going to be great. And uh, I just said. All these great messages have been nice. Go ahead, Greg. Donate, donate more money to make them feel bad. <laughs> donate, donate your souls. <laughs> donate. I'll also be in Salt Lake City this weekend <laughs> with Sam. <laughs> Want to come out and you live there? <laughs> That's pretty good. That'd be fun. Sam, which one? Sam who? Sam Morell. Sam Morell, huh? That good guy. Good guy. What about Sam? Sam Worth? Sam Worthington? Don't know him, but seems, seems trustworthy. Sam, from all the roles he's played, certainly seems like a, <laughs> the guy. Yeah, right? Sam, Wor there. Sam Worthington seems like a guy that Greg you would think was a basketball player. That's what Sam Worthington <laughs> sounds like. A guy uh, you'd mention as a possible. known basketball player, uh, mm. <laughs> NBA legend. That, yeah, Sam Worthington, yeah. NBA, yeah, Th three point Hall of Famer. <laughs> the three point Hall of Fame. Right, yeah. it's a small one. It's a small one. It's just <laughs> him. And it's my uncle. That guy <laughs> could hit a shot because he was lazy. So you know, he like didn't. Your so, your uncle made up a Hall of Fame. <laughs> yeah, he would go three point Hall of Fame, and then because we'd be playing, and he would the ball would go out of bounds, right. and then he would just grab the ball, mm -hmm. and then we would give us the ball back, and he would go three point Hall of Fame, and he would <laughs> shoot it, and he would sink it, and we would well then play with us, and he would go no, and then he would leave. Uh, as you can tell, Greg comes from a long line of athletes. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. You, anybody in my family could shoot a three pointer from an uh, from a from a plastic chair. <laughs> mm, anyway, I love you guys. Right. Thank you guys so much. All right. The Rad Dude Cast is hosted by Anthony DeVito, Brendan Ayer, and Greg Stone. Original music by Brian Zippert. Produced by Mike Suarez. Executive producers Brendan Ayer, Greg Stone, and Anthony DeVito. 
Executive producers, Matt Kleinschmidt and Robert Kelly for the Laugh Button Podcasts.